Hello, my good listener and my viewer. Welcome to our session that we are starting today on looking on great men and women we find in the Bible who are going to be an inspiration to us as followers of Jesus Christ or as Christians. And as I said in our last episode where we were concluding on resurrection, that we shall start with the great man of God, Elijah. And Elijah is one of the great men of God. He was a great prophet as we read in the Bible. But before I go to that, let me make a quick reference of what I talked on in our last episode on the importance of resurrection. And I just want to show you some scriptural references which are made by our Lord Jesus Christ concerning this great man of God, Elijah, and even another, info, another reference from the book of James that was equally made concerning this, this great man of God. Quickly, we read Mark chapter 9, the gospel according to Mark chapter 9, verse 2 to 4. This is what we read in the Bible. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became radiant, intensely white, as no one, as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. That is a reference of Elijah in the gospel. And another reference in the gospel according to St. Luke. This was made by Jesus himself. In gospel of Luke chapter 4 verse 25 we read But in truth I tell you there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heavens were shut up three years and six months and a great famine came over all the land and Elijah was sent to none of them but only to Zarephath in the land of Sidon to a woman who was a widow. That reference was made our Lord, by our Lord Jesus Christ. And then lastly, in the letter of James to the church, chapter 5, and verse 17 and 18, when he was talking about prayer, James wrote or said, James 5, verse 17, Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain, and for three years and six months it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and the earth bore its fruit. So this is the man we are looking at. The Bible says, in that part we have just read that he was an ordinary man like we. He was an ordinary person like we. So my dear listener, my dear viewer, we are looking at a person who was like us, but God used him in a great and mighty way. And the point I would like us to see, or oh, the Holy Spirit is leading me that we look into this great man of God and how one time he experienced something we all experience, discouragement, and how it took him, and how he responded, and then how it affected him. So let's meet tomorrow as we now see that 
part of discouragement and how it affected the life of this great man, Elijah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great opportunity to stand your word. May it have a place in our lives to the glory of your mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Let's meet tomorrow. God bless you.